Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. The headquarters for the Finger Lakes chapter of the American Red Cross has left its location on Market Street. Today there was a ribbon cutting ceremony for the headquarters new location on LPGA Drive next to the Corning Country Club. The move comes as an effort by the organization to cut costs. The Red Cross will now be in a leased building instead of owning the building its headquarters is located in. The event was also an opportunity for the Red Cross to express its appreciation for its volunteers, especially after the large amount of flooding this summer. A much uh, more professional building for us. The open floor plan layout allows uh, volunteers to access the internet, to, to use their phone. We included some huddle spaces so that way if you had to meet with somebody to have a meeting. So right now uh, the handicap accessibility is wonderful, the parking is wonderful, and the storage is, is really uh, key to our success in disaster response. Some of our volunteers have been working for the last three months with either local flooding or national flooding response and uh, we are able to do what we do thanks to their dedication uh, and I really want to extend my appreciation to them their families and their employers for being so flexible with their time because it's really been uh, a big haul this this last three months. The Finger Lakes chapter of the American Red Cross currently has more than 400 volunteers. There's less than three weeks until the Elmira Corning Regional Airport project deadline. Operations transitioned into using the new terminal back in August, but there was still a lot that had to be completed. Currently, crews are working on the final jet bridge, as well as furnishing the offices. Airport officials say everything is on schedule for that October 31st deadline. Just last month, the project received $4 million from a federal grant, which officials say has helped significantly. Tanner's Paws in Corning has plenty of pets looking for forever homes. Zach is our pet of the week. This is Zach. Zach is a three-year-old tree and walker coon hound. Zach was rescued and now he's looking for a loving home of his own. He is very energetic. He would enjoy being with somebody who could give him long walks and a lot of exercise. Zach's a beautiful dog and he wouldn't work the best with cats. But he gets along with certain dogs, so if you have another dog, you can come in and have a meet and greet with Zach. If you want to meet Zach, you can come right down here to Tanner's Paws. Tanner's Paws is open tomorrow from 10 to 2. It's located at 117 West Market Street in Corning. Well, it's a much cooler weather. Coming back to our forecast just in time for the weekend. Meteorologist Kim Walker is in next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Welcome back, everyone. We are anticipating some morning showers. I think most of the rain will be starting off after midnight. But then during the day on Saturday, clouds will start to decrease. It will be breezy and it will be chilly. And then as we move into Sunday morning, there could be some patchy frost with temperatures dropping down close to that freezing mark. And then mostly sunny and cool for the rest of the day on Sunday. And it looks like another system coming through early next week and so we do have the possibility of a few spotty showers but we are seeing most of the rain and uh, from yesterday and then tomorrow morning we're going to see a few more showers moving in behind the system temperatures will be cool so we are talking about readings a little bit below normal our future radar is showing as we move into tonight most of the showers will be moving in even some purple showing up so there could be a little bit of a mix uh, as we head into at the overnight those temperatures will continue to drop but 
then by 745 in the morning on Saturday, we are expecting most of the rain to be moving out. There may be just a few isolated showers remaining, but overall, all this should be moving away from our area and then those clouds will start to decrease and we should see some sunshine by the afternoon. Tonight, temperatures drop down to around 38 degrees, so it's going to be chilly tonight. Again, showers will start after midnight tomorrow. A little bit colder than today with a high only around 52 degrees in Elmira and also in Mansfield 53 degrees in uh, Corning. We are expecting those temperatures to warm up a little bit for early next week. We're going to get a little bit of a break though from this rain on Sunday, but it looks like we'll be back on Monday. Temperatures around 60 degrees as we start off the work week again, dropping down into the 50s, possibly even some 40s as we move into next week. Overnight lows will drop down into the 30s. Scott. All right, thank you, Kim. The winner of Alaska's fattest bear contest has been announced. It's Bead Nose. You see there, Bead Nose with radiant rolls of fabulous flab has won. The annual competition is run by the state's Katmai National Park and Preserve and sees 12 of the park's chubbiest bears pitted against one another. Each day of Fat Bear Week, contestants' photos were posted on the Facebook page, and the bear with the most likes went on to the next round. Competition is used to educate the public about the bears, but... For the bears, it's all about that gaining weight for hibernation. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.